What's up, everybody? Thanks for joining me today. We're going to talk about how to give a ball python injections or really any any snake. Uh, it's similar. It's a little bit different if you got like thin snakes, maybe, but you just probably have to be more careful. I only keep pythons, so that's what I know. But I thought since I'm having to go through this, I would share it with you. So stay tuned. I'm going to talk a little bit about the snake I have that I had to take to the vet recently, uh, actually a couple days before Thanksgiving um, with an infection, uh, probably a, an abscessed tooth. Um, and so I've been giving her injections for uh, about two weeks now and I'm getting close to wrapping it up. And I thought I would show some progression of where we started, what first triggered the uh, the concern and the trip to the vet and then um, kind of her progress through. So I'm actually right here. I'm going to put in some pictures of uh, how I found her uh, a few days before Thanksgiving. It was the weekend before, right after feeding her. Um, I went to check on her the next day. She was curled up. She ate. She was fine. Um, and then Saturday morning I went to clean and I discovered that she was swollen when I went to clean her and this is what I saw. You can see here that um, her, her lower jaw is very swollen. She also had a lump uh, a little ways back on her neck and uh, I forced her mouth open to check inside and I didn't see much but I did see like a purple spot on the front right side. You might be able to see it but that picture is not very clear. Um, anyway, so I took a look and I knew immediately that it was probably a tooth issue whether it was damaged or it was an abscess. Um, that it needed attention. An abscessed tooth or an infected tooth um, could be fatal if not treated properly and quickly. Um, so I immediately took out all the cocoa, I put her on paper, and I called the vet the next, uh, well, Monday morning when they opened um, and took her in the next day. So I've been giving her the shots. Um, so right here, before I actually show you how to do the injection, I'm going to show you a little video update that I took a few days ago after she'd been on the antibiotics for a couple days. Hey everybody, so, so I just showed you some pictures. I'm going to show you, uh, this is Bones. Now she's being shy. She's a really active snake, especially for a ball python. So trying to get her to sit still may be, may be the tricky part. Let's see if I shoulder her if she'll... She'll calm down a little bit, but um, we're about halfway through the antibiotic treatments for her, and I want to see if I can get her. I know she doesn't like this, but you can see she's still a little swollen, um, especially around the jaw. I'm not, I'm not hurting her. I'm just holding her firmly, but she doesn't like that. She's a little swollen on the back of her jaw here, um, but her, her, her lower jaw really is looking a lot better um, after three shots than when she first started. So hopefully um, the remainder of the shots will do the trick and knock out this infection. I got the labs back yesterday that uh, it didn't look like there was anything significant, just, just bacterial infection, probably an abscessed tooth um, that's causing some inflammation in a couple different spots. But anyway, I thought I'd put her up here and show you the progress. Hopefully we'll get to see her in a couple weeks and she'll be all better. <laughs> Oh, you're awesome. All right, so I'm back. I went and grabbed the injection out of the freezer. You keep it frozen, uh, and you thaw it just by simply holding it in your hand. I like to hold it between the thumb and palm of the hand, and that will allow your body temperature to um, thaw out the antibiotic until it's completely thawed out. Once it is, there'll be a little air pocket in the top that you'll want to push the air out just until you see the first drop come out of the top of the syringe uh, and then you're ready to go. So I'm going to thaw that out and then once I do, I'll show you the actual injection. When you take this out, you'll notice that there's a, a tip and an opening. I like to make sure that the tip is, is towards um, the body of the animal and the opening is facing away from the, the animal. I've just found that that seems to inject easier um, it's the sharpest point and it seems to go most smoothly underneath the scales. Um, so I'm going to finish thawing this out. I'm going to grab bones and then we're going to see what it's like to actually do the injection. All right, so I'm back here. This big, beautiful girl is bones. She is a lesser pewter and she is amazing. Um, 
see if she'll look. She likes to move around a lot. So this could be tricky because I don't have a camera person helping me out today, but um, I'm trying to see if I can get her to show your head, but she's really, really head shy. And I don't blame her. I've been shooting, oop, and she just knocked the camera. So I hope y'all enjoyed that ride. Um, kind of like a roller coaster uh, for the price of admission here, but she is not wanting to let me show off her face. Um, come on. Oh, there you go. But she can see. I don't want to panic her, but she's looking way, way better. Almost back to normal. Um, here's that little, I don't know if you can still see it. There's a little bump on the side of her neck there. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and take the cap off of my syringe. If you'll stay put. No, no, no. <laughs> You got to know you're getting a ride in this video, too. Stay still, baby. Good girl. She has always been kind of flighty and likes to move around. So what I try and do is get her to kind of wrap me a little bit if she will calm down, which she's not good at. Um, might need to try and wear out a little bit. But so I'm going to come back maybe about a third, somewhere between a quarter and a third of the way down her body. Hopefully you can see that. Um, and I'm just going to try and hold her to keep her from getting away, but not panic her. And then I'm going to alternate one side or the other. So each, each time I do it, I try and alternate one side or the other. When I do the shot, she is going to jerk a little bit and, uh, who can blame her? So this is the next to last shot for her. She's, she's only got one more after this, which will be great. I'll be glad to be over with it for her sake and mine. I hate doing this to her. Yeah, wrap around. All right, she didn't want to do that. Okay, we're just going to have to force it. So the trick to the injection, like I said, I told you kind of how I point the needle. You want to find a, a nice muscular spot right below the spine on the side. When you do the injection, the liquid is going to make her skin kind of bubble up a little bit. That's normal. Um, let's see if I can get her to turn away from me so I can get it in between two scales. I'm going to go in about half to three quarters of the way, inject that. It's going to be some resistance and some pressure. And then I'm going to take my thumb and cover the injection site, site as I pull the needle out. That'll keep the antibiotic fluid from coming back out, which you wanted to stay in for obvious reasons. And that's it. So really for all her moving around, it really, really is very simple. Um, and she's fine. Hurt a little bit, just probably more of a surprise than anything. She's done really well with them. And you see now she's got a good hold on me. And I'm sorry I have to do that to you, baby, but she is looking so much better. And uh, the infection is down, the swelling is down, and I'm so glad to have a great exotics vet not too far from the house here. Um, and this little spot on her neck has been going down as well. So hopefully just one more shot and she'll be right as rain. She'll be good to go. But... Uh, that that in a nutshell is it all right well i had some more uh at the end of that video some information and we took a good look at bones actually let me show off her face and you can see she was pretty much normal at this point however my microphone died and there was no audio whatsoever so uh, i thought i'd just wrap it up here real quick i hope you learned something i appreciate you tuning in and uh, i just wanted to remind you that Take the opportunity and share the love of reptiles with anyone you can. Thanks.